TMC Net at Astrocon 2008. to you from the fifth annual Astracon event, this year being held in Glendale, Arizona. Uh, with me now is Chalana Ross, the Vice President of Marketing for Voice at Polycom. Chalan, welcome. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. So just for our viewers, maybe you can recap where your company fits in the uh, open source uh, communications landscape. Absolutely. So Polycom uh, is, is a company that provides communications devices, essentially. So if you look at our product portfolio, we provide phones, conference phones, wireless, wireless handheld devices, uh, even video, of course, video endpoints for desktops and conferences. As a result, we believe in giving the end users the broadest choice of how to connect that device into a communication infrastructure. If you look at the open source environment, open source has adopted, has adopted standards most robustly. As a result, in open source, we, we can deliver the broadest choice of uh, communication environments to the end users and the IT managers with our communication devices. Okay. Now, you're on the uh, conference program. You're set to speak tomorrow. Yes. Uh, maybe you can share with our viewers a little bit about what you'll be talking about in, Absolutely. Your, in, your, in your presentation. Absolutely. So tomorrow I'll be talking about the strategic, strategic value or strategic importance of open source. And what I'll be emphasizing will be that if as an IT manager or CIO, if you look at your long-term uh, communications infrastructure investment, you have to be looking at how do I how do I give myself the most choice, the most flexibility uh, in my long-term investments, and open source enables this flexibility by by separating every possible component in the communication infrastructure and allowing for these devices or these components to talk to each other or, or using open standards. So that gives the CIO or the IT IT leadership to say, well, I like the best telephone, I like the best video device, I like the best communications uh, controller, so on and so forth. And that's the strategic value of open source. As we go into applications, that's another layer of value that IT managers or CIOs are considering. And they want to be able to add a Web 2.0 application from one vendor on top of another Web 2.0 application on top of the communication device. Right. And that flexibility is best realized using open source. Okay, great. So if an organization is, is considering the migration or considering the move to open source and they haven't yet gone there, uh, what do you think some of the, uh, the key criteria they need to consider? What are, what are some of the things right. they need to think about? Well, they still have to consider whether open source still meets their needs because we, to be objective about it, open source uh, meets many needs of many users, but, it, but there may be a specific need that, that, the, that the organization has that may not be met for them. So they have to really do a, do a validity check. Uh, they should also make sure that there's a migration path from, from what they have to where they want to go. Uh, I mean, these are practical considerations, but, they, but if you're a CIO delivering an internal service, you have to be cognizant of that transition. Uh, I would venture to say that open source will fulfill those transition requirements, but those are the things that, that should be taken into consideration. Okay. Now, Polycom has also been uh, heavily invested in, in working a lot with uh, wideband codecs and, and, and sort of promoting HD voice, high definition yes. voice. Um, is that something that works in the open source environment as well? Absolutely. In fact, uh, if you look at the basic elements of HD Voice, uh, HD Voice is based on an open standard codec called G722 and others like that. So essentially, if you want to implement HD Voice or wideband audio, uh, you have to you have to decide to adhere to standards. So that's 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 a, that's a primary element of HD Voice. Beyond that. Uh, open source, the overall open source environment is the first environment where we were able to show uh, HD Voice because the open source community essentially adopted uh, the, the implementation of HD Voice very rapidly. And then after that, the, the closed or proprietary vendors started to, started to adapt it as well. So, so we, we really appreciate the support from the open source community for HD Voice. And we hope that that support continues as we as we continue to enhance HD voice and add video to that also. Okay, great. So, and my last question, this is sort of the more open-ended question of okay. the day, right? Uh, what does the future hold for, for open source telephony? Where do you, what do you, in your opinion, what do you see uh, uh, as the applications, or uh, how do you see the future of open source unveiling? Well, I mean, open, source is a, open source is a wonderfully dynamic environment, so, so it's hard to tell where it will go because there's so many people who are contributing to open source that it's not one person who's deciding to take it in a certain direction. It's the will and it's the, it's the genius of the community that's taking it forward. So in that sense, I see it as a very uh, robust dynamic environment. I think open source will continue to make inroads into the overall communications environment. Today, if you look at open source, it's used mainly in smaller size businesses. It's still making its way into larger businesses. There are leaders in large businesses that 
I won't be able to name, but that you will find over time, that are using open source. And I see open source Attention, it is now six, six o'clock, okay. and okay. the exhibit hall is closing. Okay. So okay. I, see, I see open source evolving similar to Linux. If you look at how Linux evolved, it started off as a, as a community of uh, advanced users. Then now, look at, if you look at Linux, it's, it's embraced by the largest corporations of the world. Right. So I see open source evolving the same way. OK. Well, Chalan, thank you very much for sharing your time with us today. Uh, again, it's, uh, we've been speaking with Chalan Aras, the VP of Marketing for Voice at Polycom. Thank you.